Beneath Pacific waters lies a graveyard of warships, a fleet of glowing ghosts. After World War II, the U.S. government tested atomic bombs at Bikini Atoll in the Marshall Islands. Between 1946 and 1958, they set off 23 nuclear devices there, including one of the largest ever detonated. Dozens of captured German, Japanese, and American ships were sunk. Many more were left eerily preserved, coated in a thick layer of radioactive rust. Today, divers know it as the nuclear fleet. And while some wrecks are more than 100 years old, they haven't decayed like you might expect. That's because the bombs that sank them didn't just burn, but boiled. The water turned to superheated steam, which caused the ships to rust from the inside out. It's a process that normally takes decades, but the intense heat did it in seconds. Most of the fleet is made up of Japanese ships, but there are also three U.S. Navy ships and one German submarine. Together, they form a haunting, luminous reef, a graveyard of glowing ghosts. In the early days of diving, people didn't have the technology to explore these wrecks. But today, thanks to advanced submarines and remote-controlled vehicles, we can see what happened at Bikini Atoll like never before. What we found is a chilling reminder of a terrible past. These ships are dangerous. They're filled with enough radiation to kill a person in less than an hour. But the Cold War left behind not just ruins, but glowing graves. Fish and other marine life gather around the wrecks, drawn to the radiation. Some divers even report seeing strange lights around the fleet, as if the ships themselves are burning with an eerie, otherworldly glow. It's a sobering reminder of the power of the atom. And it's a testament to the long shadow of war. For more stories of sunken ships and underwater mysteries, subscribe for more. When oceans hide fire, history glows.